my name is pawan uh, today i am going to explain about the water cool chillers used in mri systems if we see the chiller industries normally the chillers are water cooled and air cooled so we use normally water cooled chillers and we we are utilizing those chilled water supplies in our mri systems if we see our mri systems like just a general diagram of mri there are different different cabinets like these are the cabinets of mri machines and this is our magnet so normally this magnet has a gradient coil and some other electronic parts are involved here so a cold water supply is i should use actually blue but i am using the red symbol so you assume it as a cold water supply cold water supply needed so here the cold water supply is needed to make the grid gradient coil more cooler more chilled and some cold water supply is required here in electronic cabinets there are other electronic cabinets so overall we can say that to run the mri system we need a chilled water supply so we are going to study the basic block diagram of a chiller actually how it works so in chillers we can categorize we can make we can break down the block diagram of a chiller like the main components are compressor one, there is one compressor and as you know it compresses the refrigerant gas so and this is your uh, heat exchanger here is a heat exchanger okay this is a separator kind of thing heat exchanger here your hot water is coming from mri okay and chilled water is going out for mri so basically this is a load here there is a load so water coming from mri and going back and getting the cold condense means a conduction it is a conduction so i will explain you so this part you will see later just hot water is coming cold water is going out and this this unit is called this unit is called phe actually it is called heat exchanger so water is coming here and from heat exchangers actually hot water is coming here and another component here you can see it i am drawing it like a valve see it is an expansion valve expansion valve as a name suggests it expands and releases the pressure here another major component is this is condenser and uh, some fan assembly is involved here in the condensers if you will see the chiller there are some fans and those fans normally rotates the so inside this water line inside this refrigerant line there are some coolant refrigerant gases normally r22 r 407c so normally we use in mri 407c gas so a kind of gas is running inside this inside this assembly inside this refrigerant circuit a refrigerant gas is running so when the hot water comes so i am taking one another color when the hot water is coming from here 
इट गोज इन द हीट एक्सचेंजर फ्रॉम हीट एक्सचेंजर इट गोज इन द कंप्रेसर कंप्रेसर हैज हैज अ थ्री वाइंडिंग कंप्रेसर वी यूज नॉर्मली इन आवर चिलर्स थ्री वाइंडिंग कंप्रेसर्स सो वाटर एंटर्स हियर एंड इट दिस कंप्रेसर रोटेट्स इज वाइंडिंग्स आर देयर इट रोटेटिंग एंड इट इंक्रीजेस द प्रेशर हियर व्हेन द रेफ्रिजरेंट एक्चुअली वाटर इज नॉट मूविंग इनसाइड दिस सर्किटरी अ गैस इज मूविंग and that gas is 407c so this gas enters in the compressor and then from compressor this gas comes out and the and the pressure definitely the pressure will be high and the temperature will also be high here because it is coming from the compressor from the compressor it goes to the condenser condenser part here the fans are moving as you can see here the fans are moving and this refrigerant gas enters here with high temperature and high pressure so when the gas enters here it condenses and the temperature comes down the temperature will go down because of this evaporator fans this fan will take the heat out and in in the atmosphere and the finally the gas the coming the gas coming out from here will have a lower temperature the temperature will be down definitely the pressure is high and the temperature is low so now the gas enters in this expansion vessel as the name suggests here the cold temperature refrigerant is entering means the temp the gas entering here the temperature is down but the pressure is very very high then the expansion vessel expansion valve expands and drops down the pressure here so the gas coming out from the expansion vessel has a low pressure and low temperature now you have a cold refrigerant and that cold refrigerant is entering in the phe now here the gas is entering and this gas has a lower temperature and lower pressure and now your water is coming from mri and interacting here so this is your water coming out and interacting with the gas and becomes cold and going to the mri machine again and now if this gas crosses this phe this gas crosses the phe has a high temperature means little bit warmer temperature will be high and then when the gas crosses here the pressure is low okay so again it goes in the compressor so now the diagram is too crowded so i am making it another diagram if i make the diagram again this is the compressor this is your heat exchanger this is your expansion valve this is a basic standard diagram of any chiller and this is a condenser there are fans here you can see the fans this is the condenser so refrigerant gas normally in mri we are using r407c gas so when the gas here hot water is coming from mri going back to mri chilled water so when this refrigerant gas comes here interact with water here interact with water make the water chilled and then this refrigerant goes enters in the compressor this is the compressor and then comes out from the compressor the compressed gas comes out with high pressure with high pressure and high temperature when this gas enters in the condenser part the fan makes the gas cold and from here the gas comes out with lower temperature and high pressure pressure is high so when this gas enters in the expansion vessel and interacts and comes out so after this expansion vessel whatever refrigerant gas is coming out it has a lower pressure and lower temperature so this lower temperature and lower pressure gas enters in our phe makes the water chilled 
and again enters in the compressor so this circle is repeating again and again and this our cold water supply is continuously we are getting our cold water supply for our mri system okay one more part i want to mention here in any compressor the output is called discharge point and the input is called suction point suctions are normally low pressure at the suction point the pressure is low so normally you might have uh, listened from the ac people the repair guys they use this suction and discharge point so the pressure coming out from the compressor has a high pressure the point coming out is high pressure that's why i call discharge point and suction point means lower lower inlet of gas inside the compressor so this is the basic working of a normal chiller hope i i made my point clear and i explained it in a simpler way if you have any doubt just write me in the comment and let me know i'll try to answer your queries thank you very much